It's a very good time to buy a Swiss Army knife right now. There's a whole bunch of models currently on sale on Amazon that are lower than even the prices you can find used on eBay. Well, I'm gonna talk about 10 different deals you might wanna take a look at here today. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna start off strong with probably the best deal of the bunch. Now this tool, the Explorer, usually goes for around $60, but it's currently being sold on Amazon for $40, $39.95. I didn't make a video on this earlier because I was pretty sure it was like a one or two day deal, but it's been over a week and I think it's time to talk about it. Now this might go up and I noticed that there's a bunch of tools that have been cheap for a long time and are now higher, but this one, somehow went down and it's probably my favorite urban edc kind of um swiss army knife because it has an inline phillips and works really well in combination with a pocket plier so if you wanted to have something separate in many ways it's probably a little bit better than the deluxe tinker because you can stick it with a plier and then all of a sudden you have a much more complete package with a combination of tools that are particularly useful. It also has an eyeglass um, sort of magnifier, really, really powerful in fact, scissors, blades, and of course the standard can opener, bottle opener combination with the reamer all file and of course the parcel hook. So I'm not gonna go into details on everything related to the tool set. These tools have been around for a long time. So you can find out more about that. But the big claim to fame here is that three-dimensional Phillips, which is in line. $40 right now, it's pretty much impossible to beat that. You can't even find a used one for that price. Now, speaking of the Deluxe Tinker, that is another model that is crazy on sale. Also just over that $40 price point, around 42. And this one actually has an integrated plier instead of the inline Phillips and a magnifier. This is arguably a more complete package for urban environments if, if you're not planning on carrying a you know, plier separately or something along those lines, like having access to it. So I think it's still justifiable, but right now I'm really enjoying carrying the snap-on four inch uh, slip joints. So it, it's been really a good idea to pair it with something like the Explorer. I will also mention, as you see this clip here, I have it sitting on. Um, this is the Swiss Q-Clip. Do I recommend them? I'm going to say very simply, absolutely not. And the reason is multifold. One is that gap. Actually, my a lot of my clothing actually gets caught underneath instead of going in between. And the other thing, which is even more of an annoyance, is that in order to get access to the tweezer, which is a very useful tool, I have to take out the toothpick and potentially break it off trying to get this thing out of here. It, it, it doesn't always work. So needless to say, that is not ideal. What I recommend you do is to get one of these less expensive Night Eyes hip clips. These work very well, and the nice thing is you can put them in an orientation so that they become a dangler for your keys. So put them in the right uh, angle, so this actually needs the lanyard ring in order for it to function, whereas here you get both, and so I, I can attach keys to this side like you have here, and then I have the dangler. So that is the way I would recommend it, but right now the Deluxe Tinker is absolutely something you want to consider. This will go up, I promise you, and it looks like they are slated to increase prices over the next year or so. We've already seen that happen in other places on their websites uh, that actually represent Victorinox. The prices have already increased, so this is a very, very good deal. This might be the time to buy maybe the best Victorinox for outdoor use, the Huntsman. I don't think it's much of a debate actually at this point. Now you could argue some of the larger variants are better, but the problem is, is that those larger variants do not have a second blade which when it comes to bushcraft is incredibly useful to have both a large and a small blade. This has a saw as well as a scissor and the can opener and blade layers. And on the back, it has a corkscrew, the reamer all and the parcel hook. The funny thing about this tool is that the corkscrew actually gets a lot of use in bushcraft style tasks. And I found a couple of new uses recently 
because you could screw this into a live branch and actually use it with the saw in conjunction so that it's mounted into that piece of wood and you can use it as sort of like a tree saw. So I haven't tried it myself, but I've seen some videos on it. This is just a very versatile piece and is a great complement to any outdoor adventure. Now there's another tool that I found that honestly is a bit of a conundrum for me. I don't know where this fits as far as carry is concerned, but it is a very inexpensive tool right now. This is currently running only $23, just over $20 for a Victorinox tool with a three-dimensional Phillips, the standard blade layers, as well as the opener layers, and has a saw included. Now, of course, all of these come with the uh, tweezer and toothpick combination, but this is a very, very good deal. It's basically a tinker, which you can get about $20, but adding the saw, pretty useful in my opinion. I don't know if it's better to have the corkscrew or the, um, the uh, Phillips here, but the fact that it's only 20, $22 and change, versus the $29 or $30 that is the camper or some of the other variants is actually pretty awesome. So it's worth noting if this is a model that you like, this is a good time to pick up possibly a spare. All right, moving into larger sizes. I really wish I had caught this deal before I bought this used version of the same tool. So this is a much older variant of the Outrider and the Outrider is currently sitting at only $54. In fact, I looked up what I paid for this, which is an older model that didn't have the tool I was actually looking for, which is the small Phillips. Uh, and it was, I paid more for a used model than I did new. That was my mistake. But you hopefully don't have to make it. Um, so please go ahead and check that out. These usually run around $70. They're a lot more expensive than they currently are right now. This has a saw, which is a lot longer than your normal where is it? Let's go with this one here. The normal 91 millimeter saw. There's quite a bit more length here, as you can see. And it also has the scissors. So this is a four layer equivalent, kind of as the Huntsman, but doesn't have the secondary blade. So it's good and it's, it's better and it's worse. It does have a locking blade that is quite a bit more substantial and it does have great ergonomics but it, it is missing a couple of the things that make the Huntsman a little bit better, as well as being a lot more compact. So still a really good deal and a really good uh, Swiss Army knife, and it's just a great price right now. All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about is the one-handed Trekker. So I usually see these around $65, but currently it's sitting at 50 for this particular version. And I've seen this exact same one, other listings that are at the $65, $67 range. So definitely something you wanna consider if you're looking at buying a one-handed Trekker. So this actually has a partially serrated blade. It's one of the best serrations that I've ever tried on any tool. And I love that they actually put it in the correct placement, which is at the end versus down here, because this now you can use for carving and you won't get those serrations in the way. Uh, I, I actually am a big fan of this tool, the blade and everything else that goes with it. It has a Phillips on the back. It has a large saw as well which I, is on the other side. I'm trying to pull out the wrong thing. And of course it has a locking, locking flathead right there. So it's like a real pry tool. And of course, of course it has the uh, can opener with the two dimensional Phillips and flathead. So $50 right now, if that's something you're into, that's a great, that's a great deal. And just a reminder that all of these tools have a lifetime warranty that is, well, it's one of the best in the business. So it's worth considering. Now, in addition to the ones I have shown already, I am also gonna talk about some deals for things that I don't currently own. One of them is the rescue tool, which is the same 111 millimeter size. That is usually well over the $100 range. And I would only imagine it's going to go up over time. The fact that it's only around $72 is pretty insane 
So definitely worth considering and don't take my word for it. Go ahead and shop around. Even looking at eBay used there about that much or more. So definitely a good deal. The other thing that are, is really something to consider is probably gonna end up being the Tinker Classic Combo. So currently running around $36. I personally like it kind of more all in one. So I've talked about some of those models, but if you like the smaller separate designs where you have the classic, which has your scissor and you have the tinker, which is maybe got your blades, it's got your Phillips, it's got your flathead and so on, you know, that's there for you. And it is a pretty good deal. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to talk about, I wish someone would have done for me as a kid. Well, they kind of did, but it was a different one. Um, so I've talked briefly about my very first multi-tool, which was this one. I got this gifted to me as one of my birthday presents uh, a few years back from my mom. It was one of the greatest things ever. I brought back all kinds of memories that were really enjoyable. But they have a Swiss Army knife uh, made of plastic designed for children that is actually functional. I mean, it has a spoon. It has a fork. It has a magnifying glass. I wish I had gotten one of those too. Man, I would have carried that thing everywhere. And they're only about $10. So do me a favor. If you have a niece, a nephew, uh, you, you know, you're going to a kid's birthday party that, you know, you know, because obviously it looks like a knife. But seriously, consider getting one of these things. They're 10 bucks, And they're just going to make someone who's like growing up have this same experience potentially that I did. I mean, maybe this is just... Uh, wanting to share that experience, but it's so much fun. And I highly recommend taking a look at them. They're only $10. Maybe they're great stocking stuffers for later down in the year, but I don't remember them being this cheap. So definitely take a look at the, what's it called again? Oh yeah, the Theo Klein USA Swiss Army Knife. So definitely take a look at that. I think it'll be worth it. I don't foresee some of the prices staying as they are, there's no way the Explorer is going to stay that cheap. The same thing goes with the Deluxe Tinker and some of the others. Now, yeah, there's not much more to say. I hope this was helpful and we'll talk again soon.